Well, thank you, Zach. Now, recently, November 15th, FCA District 8 and State's Grocery hosted Beyond the Game, an inspirational night with Detroit Lions chaplain Dave Wilson and his wife, Anne. In addition, the John Reed Leadership Award recipient was announced. Andy introduces us to this year's honoree. Next, we want to present our John Reed Leadership Award. So I'm going to invite Josh Spencer from USV to come on up, and also last year's winner, Mike Reams from St. Mary's. And as they come up, I want to read the John Reed Leadership Award plaque. Uh, this started Tom Gieskin. Where's Tom? There he is. Uh, Tom started this when, when he, he got to know John Reed, the cold water football coach, uh, before he passed away in 2009. And it was a special relationship. And he saw such good things in Coach Reed, the way he took care of his team and the way he had godly principles. And so, uh, Tom contacted John's, Reed, or John's wife, Jan, and said, we want to start this award at TV44. And as a committee, we came up with seven attributes that were very consistent in John Reed's life. They were Christian character, humility, discipline, life mentorship, leadership, passion, and then a pursuit of excellence both on and off the field. And each year, our committee has different nominations where folks send in nominations on our website, WOSN.TV, and says this, this coach is making a difference in this community, and this coach is doing things in this community, community uh, to make a difference in our, the lives of athletes. In 2010, Bill Sammons was awarded the first award. 2011, John Zerby. 2012, Kerry Arthur. 2013, it was Matt Dudek. Tim Goodwin in 2014, and Coach Reams in 2015. This year we got even more inspirational stories. Well, one, one, one son that plays for his dad nominated him after a loss nonetheless and said, my dad, what he does and how he makes an impact in our, in our school, he deserves this award. We had new football coaches, we had veteran football coaches. Uh, but here to present this year's award is, is last year's winner, just fresh off a of playoff football practice from St. Mary's. Here's Mike Reams. Yeah, as Andy said, um, Mike Reams from St. Mary's. Um, and it is an honor to, one, be a recipient of the John Reed Award, um, and very humble. I'm sure Josh felt the same way. Um, you know, felt very undeserving, actually, if he actually knew who John Reed was and the things he's accomplished. But um, I'm, I'm very happy to present this to you, Josh, just for the simple fact that we do have some ties. We are both uh, Waynesville Goshen graduates, you know, from Wayne Tucky. So and we have plenty of, uh, yeah, probably, I mean, there's, there's not many of us out there, but, there, we're, but we're out there. Um, and Josh can probably tell you a lot more about his story, but to think of a uh, young head coach, and you're still young, um, you know, they, to inherit a program and change a culture, and you know, those seven principles is what he's uh, developing his program off of. And the success that they've had this year is a direct reflection of, of the captain of their ship. So uh, with that, I'd like to honor Josh Spencer. The 2016 John Reed Award recipient. Thank you. First ever NWCC championship, first conference championship for Upper Soda Valley football. First playoff appearance, first playoff win on the road at Troy Christian. And when we think back to when you took the job over and lost your teaching position, but stayed at USV, I mean, I mean, this started out kind of difficultly over at USV for you. Yeah, it was difficult. Um, you know, starting off one and nine, that's, um, you know, it's not how anyone envisions their first year. And, um, you know, like Andy said, they made some teaching cuts and, and I was one of the guys that was kind of the lowest on the totem pole at that time. So uh, lost my job, um, you know, but I, I knew that God had a bigger plan and I saw that, um, there was a lot that needed to be done, and I didn't want to just leave and let it go and go somewhere else. And thankfully, things worked out. Uh, you know, another job position there opened up, and uh, they stuck with me even through a one and nine season. And uh, you know, the the success on the field is it's really great. You know, no one wants to be a loser. No one wants to lose and win in playoff games and things like that. But you know, I'm just so grateful for guys like Mike and Andy and, and the other ones on this leadership. Uh, award that have won it in the past because, um, you know, we try to do it the right way. We try to influence kids positively. Um, you know, I do the FCA there on Friday mornings and it's so, it's such a gratifying feeling to see on Friday morning your football players walk in and, uh, 
you know, I get a little emotional about it, but because that's what it's really about. Um, you know, we, we coach football and we push our kids and we challenge our kids, but in the end, um, we just love, we just love kids and we want to lead them to Christ and we want to, we want to try to direct them in the right path. And, uh, you know, you just plant the seed and, and you hope that, that God takes it from there and, and the kids become set successful, um, off the field more than on the field because, you know, football is only a short span of their life. And after that, the real business starts. So you hope that you've been able to give them a stable foundation to grow off of. So I just want to say thanks and um, very appreciative and very humbled. Was it? Yeah, go ahead. You're only a week removed from the end of the seasons, but have you had a chance to look back and think of a moment or think of an interaction with a player this year or, or think of when a player, you know, all, all those years of building into these guys and maybe one of the seniors stepped up and really led with that Christ-like mindset. Does anything stick out for you? You know, during the playoff game, um, you know, we jumped out to a big lead, 27-7. to seven. Then our quarterback got hurt. Then our running back got hurt. And, uh, you know, we were kind of patching things together there at the end. And, um, you know, we had one senior that, that's a pretty regular FCA member, Chase Rose. Um, you know, he just kind of got the team together and, um, you know, refocused them. And, and I was so proud of his leadership and, you know, some of the things that we had been talking about in FCA about being leaders on and off the field. And, uh, you know, that was nice to see, um, you know, one of your guys step up and take control and, and really be a leader and hopefully reflect some of the things that you have taught them in, in FCA and in the classroom and on the practice field and all those places that you see them throughout the day. Awesome. Well, congratulations, Josh Spencer, 2016 John Reed Leadership Award winner.